Ferenc Krauss always used to be annoyed when his photographs of rapidly moving objects were blurred. It's something that happened often to the Hungarian physicist, who's also an amateur photographer. When an object is moving, exposure times have to be particularly short if the picture is to be sharp. That was our inspiration in the search for even faster processes, ones that require the extremely short exposure times that are only possible with lasers. Krauss has now broken the world record for the shortest laser pulse. He built his laser in Vienna before bringing it to the Max Planck Institute in Garching, close to Munich. Einstein helped lay the theoretical foundations for lasers, and now Krauss has shortened the period of a single pulse down to the realm of attoseconds. With the fastest camera in the world nowadays, you can track the movement of a bullet from a revolver as it penetrates a sheet of glass. For that you need exposure times in the area of a millionth of a second. If you want to observe processes occurring inside an atom, then you have to make that period a billion times shorter. That's why you need an attosecond pulse. That's why we made it. Krauss has always wanted to win this particular international competition. With his attosecond pulse laser, he'll be the first in the world to map the unbelievably rapid processes that occur inside an atom. The attosecond pulses are put to use in this vacuum chamber. They'll be used to photograph the processes in the interior of atoms. You can prove that this camera is capable of attosecond resolution by the fact that we were able to scan the vibrations of the waves in our light pulse using an attosecond pulse, thereby making them visible. The light vibration here is around a femtosecond in duration. Until now, the femtosecond was the shortest period. Krauss split that time. Here, just as Einstein predicted, when the light particles are excited, they create a strong laser beam. If the red light pulse strikes certain atoms, they begin to emit X-rays. These X-rays allow the physicist to visualize an incredibly short period of time in the atom's interior. For example, the moment when an electron is catapulted out of the atom at tremendous speeds. Using the exposure period, a couple of hundred attoseconds, he creates a photograph. One attosecond is point zero 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 zero, and again and again. This many zeros after the point is exactly one attosecond. At the moment we can create X-ray pulses that are around 250 attoseconds long. The relationship of an attosecond to a second is around the same as that of a second to the entire age of the universe. In other words, in the atoll world, a real world second is as long as the universe is old in our world. Krauss believes that a new kind of medical X-ray apparatus could be the first application for his attosecond laser. A machine like this would work more gently than other X-rays, targeting and healing diseased tissue with extreme accuracy. But unfortunately, his laser won't help the physicist take better film photographs. For the foreseeable future, the bulky apparatus will only be in use in labs. In his free time, Ferenc Krauss, one of Einstein's scientific heirs, will have to rely on a steady hand.